okay, are these going to be engaged in the fire or not? If there's enough fuel that we need to separate, we're basically putting a fire line around those piles of fuel. Burning. Uh, a challenge that we faced in our group was we had several big trees down that we couldn't burn. It would make it way too hot, way, way too big of a fire. So we had to uh, plan around that. We had to, lots of weather precautions, look at weather a lot. The objective of the burn today is to reduce fuel. Uh, we have about six to eight tons an acre in each one of those units. We're trying to reduce that by about a third. The main objective of the burn is really training. We're trying to uh, give the students an opportunity to uh, provide or uh, do a hands-on exercise in terms of a fire. So what kind of safety gear do you have on? We have Made no mags. Well, the students out here, we Made all we either have Nomex pants and a Nomex shirt or Nomex underalls with um, leather boots. And, I'm uh, the forest manager and I do most of the bulldozer operations on school forest. Uh, for our fire breaks, I have a root rake for a dozer. It actually kind of combs the brush and needles out, off the uh, fire break area and uh, exposes bare metal soil to help prevent a fire from jumping on adjacent property or from adjacent property onto our property. Uh, yes sir, we accomplished all of our goals. We may have went a little, little bit overboard, we may have burned too much litter in the process, but uh, ultimately we learned uh, just kind of how to set our fires and start them out as we uh, were out here and kind of getting first hand experience doing it ourselves. And uh, we were able to burn the third of the litter we were aiming for. Maybe we did go a little over that, but ultimately it was pretty effective. They, they plan it and they have to implement it. They have to see basically um, their decisions that they made on paper, how are they going to play out in reality? Uh, that's the main objective of, of the burns that we're doing today. Fire's probably sucking that wind that way is why it's turning probably. It could. Also, it is a, supposed to be kind of a south wind right now as well, so it makes sense. So, the, so yeah, the wind changes direction a little bit, but there's not too much to burn. Mm -hmm. So it's not really an unsafe condition. Well, I learned what a ring fire is. That was uh, the first thing I learned. Just kind of, I mean, it, just even the whole process of planning what goes on um, in one of these burns, I truly came in with nothing. So just to kind of see, you know, the game plan, clearly the work and the calculations that the students uh, did ahead of time in terms of understanding the fuel load, things like that. I moved further up to where they started the heading fire and it was really, really hot. I was back up as far as I could. Yes, yeah, sir, it got very hot. The type of fire we burned, it was just a big circle and it all gained at the center and that's whenever the heat, the hottest point was and so it did get very warm. All right. And they're gonna basically go ahead and start dripping fire with their drip torches in order to uh, achieve uh, full ignition for that unit. Um, that will uh, achieve a fire behavior that basically is closer to or meets the management objective for this unit. Um, we really learned today mainly to just uh, focus a lot on communication because that was kind of lacking and we've learned that from now here in the field and I've learned that at my job at work too is communication is a big part of everything. Oh yeah this has been one of the most challenging courses of my academic career ever but the outcome is really nice. I've burned a forest and did it successfully.